My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today we have the next episode of the Pack Play series. And per usual, if you guys enjoyed the Pack Play series, make sure you smack the like button down below and try to get this video to 500 likes. Today, we picked up 99 overall Walter Payton. You guys said I should pick him up. He had a pretty good game last our last game. So we picked up Walter P. We have Kittle from last game as well. Or he, I guess yesterday's episode, we actually picked him up. But now Walter Payton is looking pretty dang good. 98 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 agility, 98 carrying, 99 elusiveness. Got a little bit more trucking, a little bit more brake tackle to Philip Lindsay with a 93 truck, 99 brake tackle, and an 80 strength. So this man better be just chucking off defenders left and right. He better be trucking over everybody on the defense. So this is the new offense. Definitely going to try and get some things going. Also, T.Y. Hilton. Someone said I should actually go ahead and do him. So you know what? Let's go see what we got to do. All right, so I went through, looked at all the cards that we needed for T.Y. Hilton, and literally there was just an 84 overall elite. So I decided... Let's just go ahead and skip it. <laughs> Let's just pick up T.Y. Hilton right there. And we got him up to a 92 overall. Now, there is a 95 overall, which obviously we have to have a good game when we get that. But then there's a 97 we can just get with training points. And then the 99 overall, we will have to have a really good game to get that. But now we have T.Y. Hilton on the squad. We're going to go ahead and put some chemistries on him. So, scheme-wise, score we're going to go with go deep times two. So that's going to be 25. Got to put a sprinter on him. So, it's going to be 1,025. And then we're going to put... 1,025, and I guess we'll go with tough choice, but I think we're going to go with playmaker at first. So 1,000, mm, should we go with, no. Okay, so 1,025, 1,925, and we got T.Y. Hilton. All right, so what we're going to do is actually replace Robert Foster, I guess, with T.Y. Hilton since we need to upgrade him. So the speed and literally just about everything is going to be taking a big hit here. But once we get T.Y. Hilton upgraded, it'll definitely be worth it replacing Robert Foster. So we're going to move down Foster to wide receiver number four. And then we're going to put in D.K. Metcalf at wide receiver number five. So who's our wide receiver five? Jakeem Grant. So Jakeem Grant is going to be going bye-bye for now. And we're going to put in D.K. Metcalf right here. I believe he's in like my kick return or something. So I'm not going to get rid of him. Uh, and then we are also going to have to go over here to specialist. And we're going to put in, okay, actually you're going to put in T.Y. Hilton is in fact going to be slot receiver number one. And slot receiver two will be Robert Foster. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get into the game. So this is my opponent's team, Michael Vick, Calvin Johnson, and Randy Moss. And of course, my top three. All right, so let's see what we can do out here. He has DeMarcus Ware on the D-line. He's using him, so I think I should be able to get the ball to T.Y. Hilton pretty easily this game. All right, next play, we're going to run a quarterback draw here with Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson on the quarterback draw might just take this one. Oh, man, he got caught. So, guys, I just realized this. If you don't know who this is... This is Larry Allen. I'm literally playing Larry Allen right now. If you don't know, he actually does have a Twitch. He's not live on Twitch right now, but I just double checked because he follows me on Twitter. This is his gamer tag, and I'm playing Larry freaking Allen. Well, this is pretty crazy. As a Cowboys fan, this is this is pretty. I can't even lie to you guys. I'm pretty hyper right now. I'm literally playing Larry Allen. If you don't know, which I think you should know if you watch my videos. I am a Cowboys fan, so this is freaking awesome, and we get the sack there with John Randall. 3rd and 19, what's Larry Allen going to go to? Looks like he might have a crosser open. Ray Lewis coming in with the interception, and I might be able to pick six this, juking him out. Ray Lewis, can we get the pick six? Not going to get the pick six, but another interception. I am honestly so psyched right now. I didn't think you guys understand. I'm going to try to run the ball here with Walter Payton. Hit the outside. Randy Moss getting some good blocks for once, and we're down to the two. I'm going to try and run a fullback dive in with Franco Harris and see if we can't get in here. He's using the defensive tackle, and Franco's down to the two. Let's see if we can't run this in with Walter Payne. Hit the toss point to the outside, Jalen Smith. Oof, that was bad. Walter in for the touchdown. Larry's coming out in five wide. I'm surprised he has Michael Vick at QB and not someone like Dak Prescott. 
but it doesn't seem like he does have all Cowboys. He does have a couple of players as well. He's going to be going, chucking it deep to Randy, but Deion Sanders is coming away with the INT, and I'm going to try and return this. We can get some good blocks. Deion Sanders hitting a spin, and we're down to 40. Larry Allen is about to quit the game. <laughs> all right, well, we got an interception return all the way to the 40-yard line, and it looks like Larry has decided that's going to be the game. So, of course, you get one for the interception, one for the win, one for the range quit, and also one because he didn't score any points. All right, guys, so we ended up beating Larry Allen 14-0. Usually, I would do another episode, but there is literally a giant storm moving in on me, so I kind of have to hurry here. Get this video edited up to you guys because I honestly feel as though my power may end up cutting out. So, we have a total of seven packs to go ahead and open up. Unfortunately, I cannot do another one because, like I said, the, this storm literally will probably cut my power because it's a huge storm coming my way. So, we have seven packs to open up. Let's get into this clutch pack, and we have seven gold player packs. Hopefully, we get some card. We can do something with this. We get an ultimate legend pull here. It's going to be 90 overall Walter Payton. So, obviously, we don't need that Walter Payton. We have a pretty good Walter Payton on our side right now. Seven gold player packs. We're going to buy the four gold player pack bundle. And then we're going to get to three single gold player packs. Quick sell this stuff for training. And then we'll kind of see exactly what to do with the team. So, unfortunately, uh, we didn't really get to make any major upgrades to the squad as we had 282 overalls right there because T.Y. Hilton didn't really do too much in that game. He did have like one catch, I think. And then Walter Payton basically was the dominant force on the offense side of the ball as we're going to get a 86 overall Jesse James. Not a bad tight end right there. Third gold player pack. Then we're going to get to the four times gold player pack bundle as well. What are we going to get? We get an 85 overall on Johnson. You're going to give me 85 carry on Johnson when you literally just released a 99. You could have just thrown in that pack instead. I see how you're going to play today, EA. Four more gold player packs to get into, though. Let's see if we can get something good. At least like some sort of power up that I can use. 83 overall center right there. 83 coin Alex Smith. That's going to be 60,000 coins that we get to go ahead and use on whatever we want. I think I might just do a game changer pack, honestly. We get an 80 overall Akeem Hicks right there. And hopefully we get something good over the uh, game changer pack. We get an 80 overall and an 81 overall. Final goal player pack. Then we have 60,000 coins to go ahead and use here. Okay, so we don't get anything that. So we're going to use... I guess we use the 60k on one game changer and we'll do two get a golds or we can do i guess one game changer in a gold player pack as well and then we'll just say screw it and we'll also get a get a gold since we have like 2,000 coins extra it's whatever we get an 82 overall we get an ultimate legend pull 89 overall Derek brooks we get an 83 can i never get a ghost player dude i never get a ghost as we get a 92, Marshall Yana. That's a good amount of training right there. We have a 94 Tri Turner, though. And we have a power up Larry Allen just sitting there. There's probably power up. 83 overall, Joe Tooney. So I guess we'll do a another gold player pack. And then we'll do one more. Get a gold. Go ahead and quit all these cards and see how many training points we're actually going to get here. As we get a power up, Taylor Moten. I actually might look into doing that because I know you guys have been telling me to upgrade my... Oh, no, wait, he's a right tackle. I know you guys have been telling me, like, upgrade my uh, offensive line. So I might take a look whatever power-ups I have and see if it's actually worth it to go ahead and power them up. As the one good goal we're doing is going to be an 81 overall Luke Stocker. I know that I've played against, like, NFL players before and some other people as well, some pretty famous people. But playing against a Dallas Cowboys Hall of Famer to me is just different as we get 11,175 training on all the polls we just got so as you guys know i have a pretty solid offensive line right now but i want your guys opinions as to who i should actually work on upgrading so we have 94 overall kevin Moway right here but we have a 76 power of bruce matthews sitting in my item binder i can actually get up to a 92 and then we just have one good game we get his 95 upgrade to a 96 and then eventually pick up his 98 overall which all i have to do to do that I believe it's 150 rushing yards, and it's like 300 passing yards. If I can get that in a game, then we get to use an upgrade on one offensive lineman. So what old lineman should I actually go ahead and upgrade? Should I work on getting Bruce Matthews? We have a 94 overall center. Our current left tackle is 94 Deion Dawkins. I have a Jonathan Ogden right here. Or I could actually, what I could do is just put these players in, but I don't have to start them. I can literally just put them at backup. So should I put in Jonathan Ogden and level them up to like their highest possible thing? Uh, we are going to use Larry Allen. Or are we going to use Larry Allen actually? 
Actually, yeah, we should definitely work on powering up Larry Allen as well. So let me know down below who I should work on upgrading. I guess Larry Allen, Ogden, and Bruce Matthews. Besides that, my offensive lineman is literally have a 99 overall right tackle, and my left guard is 98 overall Randall McDaniels. I guess I can work on center, right guard, and left tackle because I actually have power players for all of them. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. GG to Larry Allen. I actually he follows me on Twitter, so I guess I'll DM him in. Uh, down GG. I know he's not that active on Twitter, and he does actually live stream over on Twitch. So, big shout out to you, Larry. Definitely was uh, pretty freaking cool getting to play against Larry Allen. Definitely pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smack the like button, and of course, hit that sub button if you guys are not already subbed to the channel. Make sure you turn that notification bell on so you guys can get notified whenever I do upload another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video or Madden 20 informational video until Madden 20 does drop. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.